Well, I'll tell you what, I've changed my line of thinking. Okay, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm handicapped. I would travel around uh, the streets in, in San Diego in my wheelchair. People treated me good, real, real good, real good. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, you know, I look at these people. These are the people. These are American people. These are good people. Okay? Who would want to hurt these people? You know, I'm not in the battle zone anymore. When you get out of the Army, you stop fighting. Okay? I'm not in yes. that Army no more. I've been shot right. 11 times in the streets of this, this country. Okay? I've had 16 gunfights. I've been in two major uh, mafia gang wars. And that's only on this side of the border. Okay? But I'm going to tell you something. When you don't need to do that, when you're, when you're not a combatant, then you look at the, you, you smell the flowers. And I, I, I thank God that I'm not here. You know, listen, I, I faced the gas chamber on my last case. And then I beat three strikes three times by the grace of God only. And, I, and you know what? You don't have to be a fool to sit around and compliment yourself and say, hey. D- Michael, if you have some young kids listening to the show before we go, let's say there's some gangbangers who listen because they're different than their friends. They would never admit they listen to Michael Savage. But they listen because they know there's something here for them. And they're as tough as nails. They're in, they're in the street. They're doing what you did as a kid. Would you say to them that it's the hero who puts the gun down? Well, I would say I would say that. I would definitely say that. But I'd say this also. When you see prison movies, you see two hours, American Me or whatever else the prison movie is. Okay? Yeah. If you want to go there, it's not going to be two hours. It's going to be millions and millions of seconds and minutes. Okay? Millions of misery packed time, okay, in a concentration camp setting where people concentrate on making your life miserable, okay? They concentrate on doing that, whether it be the guards or the other inmates. You walk out, you don't know if there's going to be a shooting. I was there when they fired 18 shots in Corcoran on the yard, okay? I watch people get stabbed in the mess hall. They start shooting the M14s, bullets are ricocheting. This is a hell that I can't understand anybody, and, and you're not fighting for anything. There's nothing worthy. It's not like what Audie Murphy did. Killed yeah. like, what, 160 Germans in 20 minutes? He did something here, okay? Yes. It's not that. You're fighting for nothing. For people, your homeboys, you ain't going to get a card from them. You ain't going to get a letter from them. You ain't going <laughs> to get a grunion from them. Nothing. You're there alone. Right. Make the decision. Make the decision before you cut that line and wind up in the Colorado River on the greatest rapids that you can ever imagine, and you're probably going to drown in, in the mix. Make that decision. Stay home. Be true to your family. I met a lot of I met a lot of good kids in that in, in that in this system I just came out of. Good kids that are going to spend the rest of their life because of three strikes in prison, and they got a lot of good values. They just need a little turn. And I'm going to tell you something. They ain't going to get it. Because the biggest, the biggest maggots of the system here are the California Department of Correction. They want three strikes because they want job security. Okay? So these kids that could do something, could be something, they need a break. You need to change the, uh, some kind of learning system, whatever it is. Okay? But you need to reach people. Waste all this energy and spend all this money on prisons and not school and not, not religious training and take God out of the equation of this country. This is a one country under God. And when you take him away, he's not hes not above us anymore. You understand? That's, yep, we that's lose why. our protection. Well, Michael, this has been a very um, a big, quick ride down the rapids with you. And I um, must say that I hope that somebody was touched by Michael Hardy on today's Savage Nation. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for calling the program. I'll be right back. Savage. 